Hello everyone, Mean Speed here with another Rising Hub video. Today's video is going to be on the newest update, which has got to be the biggest update the game has had in a while, possibly ever. So, with this update, we now have a fully operational store, which means we can buy items with VP and we don't have everything unlocked straight away anymore. And I personally really like this change. I feel like it's a new beginning almost, with the exception of our hero level staying the same. And honestly, I believe this gives the game more life and it means there's something else to play for and aim towards and just more progression, which I think is awesome. We also got the daily spin added, which is basically Rising Hub's version of the daily claw. And I think it's nice that they've been able to add their own version of it. And I like the little details, like how you can see what other people have won to the side and stuff like that, just like in the original game. And honestly, I didn't think we needed the claw back. When I saw people asking for it, like, during the first few months of the game coming back last year, I didn't see it as necessary. I didn't see the point because we had everything unlocked already. But obviously now, there's more of a reason for it and it can have some use. Now, there's only bandages and wrenches in it at the moment. And I've only got wrenches on all of my attempts so far. So it's already looking like the original claw in that aspect. But yeah, I'm hoping we get more added to it in the future maybe not items that we've already got in the store but i think it'd be cool to have like daily spin exclusive items which i think encourages people to come back daily to try it and also it would be nice and helpful to have vp amounts and vp drops in there as well just to help people along a bit more as well as the store and daily spin we also got a change to refunding abilities so we can basically now refund them in the game itself in the client you're not forced to go to the site and choose your hero page and all that each time so yeah i think that's pretty convenient and it makes things a bit faster just nice to have that as well so as you can see i basically bought my normal outfit back as soon as the update came out and i just got a standard machine gun setup as well stuff like that it's pretty much um I, I played to level 28 on my main gunner, so I did gain a lot of VP over the course of those level ups and just by playing in general. I didn't actually do a lot of missions, so it was just basically general gameplay and level ups to get that VP. Now this is something I wanted to bring up because obviously this update gives all the accounts that were made and that played before the update an advantage and a step ahead of new players because the VP wasn't reset and not everyone started at the same state and I'm in a similar situation uh, like as new players are for some of my less played heroes because well obviously they're a low level but I've, you know obviously I've got stuff as well that I did name changes for as well because before this update that was one of the only things VP was used for and it was fairly expensive to do a name change and I basically just did a few of those so yeah. I'm completely fine with bandages not being unlimited anymore and having to restock them every few rounds. Obviously, more or less depending on the player and play styles, how often people decide to use them and stuff like that. And I think this basically encourages and promotes more team play now. And the soldier actually has more of a purpose in the healing role again. Because I noticed Gunner was picked way more often than Soldier. And I feel some of that was because you could just do so much with the unlimited bandages on top of that as well. So you'd really rarely need to find a soldier or stick with one and i've noticed more people appreciating the soldier class a lot more playing as a team more often since this story work which i like and i also like the dynamic of having to choose like the right moments to use a bandage instead of just being able to burn through them constantly with no loss so yeah um as well as those widgets we did get tonics pirate kegs and magic returning now i'm with a lot of you guys in saying that these are really annoying to have to deal with when uh, someone can keep spamming them and uh, yeah I I'm hoping that the team can get the pricing right on these widgets in time because then it's a case of someone deciding to save up VP to get a few uses of a strong widget or saving for a permanent weapon instead and even though I don't want these removed I definitely think the prices need to be looked at carefully and controlled well so that we don't have constant like widget spam uh, like we had about a year ago with Heroes Awaken I think it was at the time basically where everyone had access to them in unlimited uses so yeah a high price on them means they aren't easily accessible and not a lot of people have a lot of uses of them so there was a recent community survey made by a player called by parallax which it's basically asking questions and asking for feedback and ideas on vp changes and this update in general so some of the ideas i've seen on this are that vp could be an account-wide thing like back in the day instead of it being like 
different amounts for each individual hero, which I think would be great because you could play a high level hero and earn VP in order to spend that VP on a hero that's not got a lot of items or weapons and you wouldn't be forced to like play the hero with the lack of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's also ideas like every new hero that's made should get a starting amount of VP, which I agree with and I think new players would appreciate that to give them a starting boost. Uh, my own suggestion was for the VP boost to be an account-wide thing as well. I just think that would be really useful in earning VP on all of your heroes, especially when you pair that with daily missions. Honestly, you don't need an amazing outfit right from the get-go, and the non-Uber weapons are good enough, so those really shouldn't be that hard at all to buy, and then you can kind of work your way up to either super weapons or more cosmetic stuff. I do think this is something that some players will have to get used to because obviously this is the first time really we've not had everything for free since the game came back last year so something that a lot of us took for granted I guess is now gone but I'm really enjoying the update so far I'm honestly it didn't take me long at all to get used to the change and the new system so yeah guys all in all despite some bugs and flaws with like some item prices and stuff like that which can and will be fixed in time I think this update is one of my favourites and one of the best ones the game has had. Like I said earlier on, I mean, I really feel this is like a new beginning and I'm having a lot of fun with having to earn and unlock stuff, you know, weapons and items instead of just having everything for free. And um, honestly, I was getting a bit bored and only playing a few rounds from time to time, but with this new update, this new way of progression, I see myself and many others wanting to play more with this new incentive and it gives you something else to play for. So yeah. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.